Yo, what is up YouTube Fury here bringing you guys a brand new video and in today's video I'll be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to level up quickly in Fortnite As you guys know there are six days left in the season when I'm recording this video Obviously there might be five when you're watching this But there are six more days and you guys definitely want to get the max Omega before the season ends because once it does end You can't upgrade those body parts anymore now I know a lot of people have everything except the chest piece once you hit level 80 you get that chest piece unlocked and upgraded so you definitely want to get to that point so you can change every color on your body part for the upgraded changing uh, outfits and stuff like that so you definitely want to get the upgraded chest piece before the season ends if you guys haven't already so in today's video I'll be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to do that now if you guys do enjoy today's video make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new don't forget to turn on those post notifications join the notification squad and if you get first like on any of my videos make sure you send me a Twitter image I had you guys back with that follow and with that said let's get right in today's video if you guys are interested in winning some free V bucks we are currently giving away 6,000 V bucks to you guys all you got to do to enter is like the video subscribe if you aren't already and turn on those post notifications as well as follow the gleam link in the description down below there's going to be six winners a thousand V bucks each good luck to everyone so like I said there are six days left in season four and then once the season ends you can't upgrade any of the Omega outfit and once you basically whatever you have by the end of the season is what you're gonna have through season five and so on so you definitely want to get the max Omega before the season ends and you have six days roughly almost a week less than a week to do so and I definitely recommend it obviously you want everything on your body part matching you definitely want the upgraded you know chest piece helmet legs arms everything upgraded on the Omega before the season does end now for those of you guys that do follow the Fortnite Twitter you guys know that they started a double XP weekend they started that on June 29th and ended it July 2nd so obviously double XP is out the window at this point if you guys did not grind during that time you obviously missed out on some double XP but nonetheless in today's video I'll be giving you guys some more different tricks on how to level up quickly now first things first if you guys have not completed the challenges I highly recommend doing that there are 10 weeks of challenges to go through and there are a bunch of XP hidden in there that you guys must complete it'll give you guys the most amount of XP and the best you know the fastest way to get the XP now the challenges aren't that difficult again a lot of them grant you 500 XP a lot of them a thousand so you have a lot of chance to get XP that way level up quickly that way and again if you guys don't do the weekly challenges you guys are missing out on a bunch of XP now with all week 10 challenges if you guys have not completed any of them there's 50,000 XP right there which is a crazy amount if you guys are in the later stages of your you know levels that's actually a crazy amount because if you think about it each level at that point will be roughly 10,000 XP and if you complete just two of these you'll actually get that level and it'll actually get you it'll boost you guys to that level 80 a lot quicker than you think again this would have been more beneficial during the double XP because obviously you know a thousand XP turns into 2,000 and that 5,000 for that week will turn into 10,000 so obviously if you guys did not do that during the double XP you kind of missed out there but again that's not your last chance or your final chance don't think you're out of getting level 80 by the end of the season so again make sure you do your weekly challenges and not only that they do have daily challenges they have a few usually a day if not just one or two now those give you a good amount as well they either give you 500 or a thousand XP there so make sure you do your daily challenges as well because those are going to give you a lot uh, you know a lot of XP as well now challenges are not the only thing that really take into effect when giving you guys XP now the next thing would be to get wins in the game now kills do matter occasionally not as much as wins do once you secure a win your placement really gives you the most amount of XP so if you get a win you're gonna gain more XP than you would if you have a bunch of kills dying early on so make sure that you get that win before anything else really so it really doesn't matter how many kills you get as long as you get a win you're gonna get a lot more XP than you would think if you just get a bunch of kills and die on early so obviously that is not the way to go it's not really the best idea to land tilted just make sure you land in a location where you can get a few kills here and there but in the end actually secure the win so with that said now obviously solos are a little bit more difficult to get wins because you're alone and duos isn't as bad you're obviously you might get you know a few more wins here and there but squads is your best outcome because one you're gonna get more kills and two you're gonna end up winning more games than not just because you have more people to rely on and if you get a squad that knows what they're doing and you guys land in a you know relatively good location say like retail row where not too many people go but a decent amount you can all get a few kills here and there or if you land say like fatal fields or something like that now obviously with the week 10 challenge obviously that might be a little bit difficult to lead, uh, land uh, fatal fields go anarchy acres or something like that with a squad you end up getting a w or, or a win or whatever you land flush factory something like that somewhere location where you can get a few kills here and there but end up getting the win at the end that's going to give you the most amount of xp so i don't recommend rushing out for kills going after kills chasing kills and stuff like that if you don't 
don't need to as long as you get the win at the end of the game you're just going to gain the most amount of xp than you would dying on a little bit earlier say if you place first you're going to gain more xp than you would placing 10 or 10th you know 10th to 50th whatever you place with more kills so as long as you get a decent amount of um you know initiations here and there a few kills here and there but end up securing the win you're obviously going to gain a lot more xp than you would think but that'll basically do it for today's video now a quick recap one you want to make sure you're playing in the squads two you want to make sure you're getting those wins as well as completing those challenges you can basically do it all in one game make sure you're in a squad doing those challenges here and there maybe one or two challenges a game with your team and then make sure you get the win at the end again you don't want to be rushing kills too much you just want to make sure you're ending up winning the game but hopefully this video helped you guys out let me know in the comment section down below what level you guys are and if you guys think you're going to be able to complete level 80 to get that max omega if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new and i'll see you guys in the next video peace